First I'll go over how to turn a plain paper airfoil wing like this one into a cellophane plastic tape covered one like this one or this one and it actually starts with covering the piece of foam board first before you actually even make the wing. Now this is ordinary packing tape. This is the common clear stuff which works fine but of course it doesn't impart any color. It ends up being a white like the foam board although not quite as brilliant. This is actually white tape um, but it comes in a lot of colors. You can get freely find on the internet and that ends up with a pretty nice brilliant shiny color like this one is the blue tape. Now the main trick in this process is getting the tape to lay down flat and straight and parallel all the way down the length of the board. Uh, done with a helper is probably much easier but the way I've done it on my own is I just tape it around the edge of a surface like a desk or a kitchen island or counter. I've used a piece of half inch particle board here. And before that you start applying the tape it's best to ensure that it is the tape is lined up perfectly with the edge here, that the tape is coming off the roll perpendicular to the like the roll itself and that this is lined up with where you want the tape to end up going and that helps to ensure that it goes all the way down the board straight. So then what you'll do is pull the tape all the way down and I use a credit card or a gift card to help put this stuff down flat. If you try and use a finger it tends to get a wrinkle in it like that and tends not to lay down flat. So I just take the card, put it right on top of the tape like this and line it up right with the end of the board. So I'm pushing down with the card, the tape is taut and parallel with the edge of the board, just enough tension to get it flat and then press it down I usually give it a little press right at the end of the board like that to hold it down. Then cut this off. And you'll see it's applied nice and evenly to the edge. Now this end is nice and without wrinkles. So you can just spread that out like that. This end you'll see has, well, some wrinkles to it and it seems that the best way to alleviate that is to pull on a little tension and notice the tape is really attached to the board that the foam board is sitting on is not really pushed down to the foam board itself so that allows you to stretch it taut like this and then just sort of smooth it out with your card like that once it looks like it's pretty wrinkle and bubble free you can take and make a nice long strokes like this. Next get ready for your second row of tape like this and I've left this tape going over the edge and it's still taped to the board underneath so I'll lap this about two millimeters by setting the t roll of tape two millimeters over the adjacent um, the first row of tape let me move that a little bit like this and using the same method tape over the edge so that the overlap right there is two millimeters and the overlap of the roll itself over the stripe is the same amount and I usually just kind of eyeball that two or three millimeters or so a quarter inch and that helps to ensure that if you pull the tape roll out and end up down here and overlap at the same amount that the tape started off going straight at the other end before you even started moving and then do that same trick with the card, pushing it down nice and flat. And once you see that it's overlapped the right amount, just push it right down. And give that last little part a little, little rub to stick it there. And then you can go back and smooth out the rest. If you end up with any bubbles like this, you can just kind of put a couple little tiny holes in it, let it deflate partly by itself, and then just finish it up with a card like that. It should go right away. So depending on what a perfectionist you are, um, 
if you want the tape from the leading edge to overlap each successive piece of tape behind it, you'd actually stop, if you knew how long your cord was, stop here and then start applying the tape from the outside in like this so that this would be the leading edge and it would overlap the lower surface and the upper surface tape behind it and they would, like fish scales, cover each other all the way back. So that this one overlaps, this one overlaps, this one and then the same would apply along the top. Okay, so I've done the red, which will be the top of the wing, and at this point I transitioned to yellow, partly so you could see it better, but this is going to be the leading edge right here. Um, at this point you want to kind of set in the tape by using a, like a t-shirt or a cotton cloth or a paper towel and just kind of rub it down all over the place. And at this point, that tape is going to become one with the paper. If you try and peel it off, the paper is coming with it. And so this is kind of the final step before you start making it into the wing itself. 